The first biblical principle that shapes our understanding of giving is God's gifts come before and make possible our giving to Him and others. The scriptures speak far more often of God's giving, present and promised, to His people than of our giving to Him. The second principle flows directly out of it. God's generosity to us should be reflected in us as His channels for the sharing of spiritual and material gifts, alike as a reflection of His kingdom. As He is loved and loves us, He expects our love for Him and others to be reflected in the giving of ourselves and what He has given to us. Romans 8.29 reminds us that one of God's central purposes for our lives as His children and Christ's followers is to transform us step by step into His image, the image of Christ. Part of this process involves learning to love Him with all of our minds, souls, hearts, and strength, and in doing so, to love our neighbors as ourselves. The Apostle Paul talks about this process in 2 Corinthians 8, 5, when he discusses the attitudes of believers in the Macedonian church in the caring for needy Jewish believers in Jerusalem. They gave themselves first to the Lord and then by the will of God to us. Living out this principle doesn't start with our finances, although it does include them. It starts with our hearts, our time, ourselves, enabled as we receive and walk in the power of God, no matter how much or how little the Lord has given us at this time in our lives. As the Lord Jesus tells his disciples when sending them to share the message of the kingdom with their Jewish neighbors, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons, freely received, freely give. What does this mean for me? If you're like me, you probably haven't raised anyone from the dead recently. I wouldn't know how to start going about healing or cleansing a leper. And as for demons, I don't want to do with that. And you probably don't either. But God isn't asking to share what he hasn't given us or what he hasn't yet given us. He wants us to share what he has done in us and for us. So no matter how much or how little that is in our lives, each one of us can ask ourselves, what am I grateful for in my life that I can share with someone else? What has God given me that I can share? May our prayer be, Lord, thank you for everyone here whose heart is open to you so you can share your goodness through us. Give us eyes to see and hearts to response so that your goodness and giving to us can overflow us through the lives of others. Amen. <music>